And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures got up two degrees above the freezing mark today in Green Bay and into the lower 40s in Chicago. But how about the 60s to near 70 degrees? Kansas City almost got up to 70 today. It's that boundary from cold air and warm air where that jet stream has set up. And we're going to be under this northwest flow pattern as we head into the next several days into next week's work week. And when we get into this type of pattern, we have the potential for a lot of these disturbances to move in here, bringing in the chance of some rain or snow, one of them which will be arriving here on Monday. Today was a little bit of a cloudy, gloomy day. We had a clipper that moved in and brought in some snowfall and some freezing drizzle in parts of the area. And some areas saw whiteout conditions. Other areas saw practically nothing. Well, the clipper system is now moving on to the uh, lower peninsula of Michigan. We've got another very weak disturbance that's moving in overnight tonight into tomorrow. This likely will just bring in a mixture of sun and cloud cover, but then there's an additional system that will bring in uh, the potential for some uh, light dusting of snowfall early Monday morning. So there's a the snowfall now moving off to the east. There were several winter weather advisories over the lower peninsula for several inches of accumulating snowfall. Most of our accumulating snowfall occurred up north of Highway 29 into Door County, up into the Northwoods and into the UP of Michigan. We still have a little bit of remnants moistures lingering into the evening hours and just driving into work, noticing that there was some light freezing drizzle or just drizzle if the temperature is above the freezing mark. That will probably continue as we head into the next uh, couple of hours or so, but then we'll start to turn dry overnight tonight. As you get into the day for tomorrow, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And as we get later on into the afternoon and evening, we'll have increasing cloud cover. And then here comes another very weak disturbance. Uh, Monday morning, a light band of snowfall will sweep through the area before we warm up a little bit. How much snowfall? A dusting to an inch at max. So honestly, not a big deal whatsoever. But then as we get into the afternoon, most of this will melt as highs will climb up into the mid and uh, upper 30s. 32 degrees outside right now, but it feels like 23 with that northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. And it is going to be a breezy evening and into tomorrow as well with those northwest winds continuing. It's 28 in Mountain, 30 in Oshkosh, 34 in Fond du Lac, and 32 in Manitowoc with winds coming in out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So then when you uh, add those two things together, it feels like 21 in Appleton and Oshkosh. It feels like uh, 24 in Acanto as well as in a Manitowoc. Certainly not as cold as what we were feeling like earlier uh, this week on Monday where we had wind chills down into the single digits. 26 overnight low winds continuing out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow we'll climb up to around 36 under uh, breezy winds out of the northwest 10 to 20 gusts near 30. Now as we head into the next few days we will climb up to near 40 degrees on Tuesday and then uh, another chance of some 40s on Wednesday with a potential some rain or snow mix really depends exactly where these little clippers move in here. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look right now to be any big deal, but as you get into next week, Sunday, Jenna, there's a, another system on the horizon. Cameron was showing me one forecast output model and uh, it screams white Christmas okay. uh, for those who love shoveling or snow blowing. That's that's a good sign, although yeah. I'm not quite ready to really shovel a lot of snow off my car just yet. Right, which is right now is kind of a monitor the situation. And as we get closer in time, we'll fine tune the details. Definitely. Thanks, Gino. And coming up, you might have to shell out a little more.